Hi there, Aurora here. I'm back. So, real talk. I decided I have made video after video trying to get all glammed up to show you guys how to use the mascara, and I can't do it because honestly, this is how I put on my mascara. My hair is in rollers. One, it keeps my hair out of my face, and two, it saves time. So, this is what you're going to get. It's just real life, right? So, let's talk about the mascara. 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. What do you do with it now that you've gotten it, right? So, first of all, it comes in this great little pouch, and you can use this for eyeliners in your purse or, what, or whatever. And if you are new to our 3D Fiber Lash Mascara and you use the old formula, this is going to be a little different. So don't put it on like you would put on the old formula. Put it on like you're putting on new mascara. So, we've got two tubes. You've got your gel, and you've got your fiber. The gel is wet, the fiber is dry. So if you don't put it on properly and use them together, you're gonna get fibers all over your face, okay? And you're, I'm gonna get an email or a call from you saying, Aurora, this stuff doesn't work. Well, it does, let me tell you. So I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna stop the camera for a minute, rearrange things, and then we will go, all right? All right, ladies, so let's give it a shot here. I know I look all funky, the angle. So eyelash curler. Our new eyelash curler is amazing. I just give it a little curl there, and then we're gonna start. So we're gonna start with our gel. It's a nice cone wand, and this is gonna help you get into all the little corners, some detail. All right, so I always take the tip, there's always a little glop on there, and I kinda wipe it off. And then I just kinda sweep it on, nice and wispy. Okay, get the corner just as if you were putting on regular mascara. All right, so there we go. And then we're gonna take your fibers and I like to just kind of roll them on my hand. It adds a little length to each fiber. If you notice there's too much there, you can kind of blow it off. And then I apply these mid to tip. And as you get to know the process, you're gonna to start to realize that you can kind of uh, work and, and paint them on the way that you like them. Some of you may like more volume, some more length. Okay, so there's a little bit of fibers. Now they're dry, like I said. So here's our gel wand. And again, I always just wipe the tip off, just that's what I do, I don't want it going back in the tube. And then I gotta seal these babies in. And again, I don't wanna get too much gel on there because then it can get start to get a little clumpy. And I'm super conservative. I'd rather do more light coats than a big heavy coat. All right, so there is one coat. And some of you might be fine. This would be fine for like everyday stuff. But I'm gonna go a little bit more. I usually do two light coats. So, one. Okay. Um, hang on. <laughs> While the gel is still wet, I'm going to go mid to tip. Again, we don't want the fibers along the baseline because you don't want to get it in your eye. So there's the fibers and then some more gel. Wipe off the tip. And then I'm going to work these babies in. Now, I like this formula. To me, I find that it's easier to remove. It's even more water resistant. And I feel like it looks more natural, light and wispy. Okay? Do you see the difference there? Now I'm gonna show you a little trick. I like to use my hair dryer on medium, cool, and this way it, kind of, it dries them, it directs them, and curls them all at the same time. And then you may get a couple little freaky fibers, and I pull those off. Do you see the difference? And then I don't do the full two-step process on the bottom. I just take my gel. And this is amazing, this gel, honestly, because 
any other mascara, I would get rings under my eyes because my lashes kind of touch the bottom. Ah, oh, what do you think? Okay. Oh my God. See, it touched the bottom. I blinked and it was there. <laughs> Bye.